The friendly folks of Pioneer Pest Control in Romney are blazing the trails in insect and wildlife control. L.B. Shockey, insect specialist, has combined with Chip Ayers, who tackles all types of animal nuisance issues. Together, they offer the complete solution for pest control. Two local men with a local solution to all your pest control needs. It's Pioneer Pest Control. Okay, pull it away. Thank you. West Virginia Public Television came to Cape and Bridge last Tuesday, June 29th, to film with area tractor mechanic and writer Ted Calvitis. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. The three-person PBS film crew went to the farm of Steve Sloniker on Dillon's Run Road to watch Calvitis start an antique tractor that was owned by Sloniker's father. Calvitus of Hanging Rock, West Virginia, is a tractor repairman who specializes in antique tractors. Calvitus also developed an interest in the history behind tractors and the people who own them, and began to write about it. His stories have appeared in several publications, including the Winchester Star, Antique Power Magazine, and Farm and Ranch Living. PBS heard about Calvitus and contacted him to help them create a program centered around old tractors and the people who own them. As long as, as long as Calvitus accepted and filming began this spring. I'm sorry. No. The program plans to feature several tractors from across West Virginia. PBS traveled to Sloniker's farm from Charleston, West Virginia to get footage of Calvitus at work and to interview Sloniker about the story behind his antique Oliver tractor. We have two granddaughters. Opening the door to the tractor was an emotional moment for Steve Sloniker. The tractor was owned by his father, Bill Sloniker, who passed away in 2008. Sloniker had done little with the tractor since his father last parked it there. Calvitus worked on starting the tractor while the PBS crew spent time talking to Sloniker at various sites on his farm about the family history behind the tractor. The crew that visited Sloniker's farm was producer and sound technician Chuck Klein, producer Glennis Board, and cameraman Aaron Shackelford. The airtime for the program has not been set at this time. Calvitus has a website called oldblacktruck.com where many of his articles can be read. Probably have to clean the points before it'll do anything, but I'm just going to give it a try anyway. Okay. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com.